Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Here is a reading for the sign of Gemini. That being said, this reading here is, um, is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest aside. If you do have any questions, however, and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romanceviltarot at gl.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so you can get those answers that you're searching for. Also, um, if you look into the YouTube drop box, you will find all the necessary information all the way from the beginning, uh, well, from the booking, from the pricing, and the uh, different type of readings. So, um, if you've been to the channel before, or if it's your very first time, please do take a moment to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. So that being said, um, we're going to begin this reading here. This reading is for the sign of Gemini. What we want to know here is, is your ex sorry? Okay, so this is what we're trying to find. We're going to find this out by using two decks. So I'm using Alice in Wonderland Tarot. Let's go see if they feel sorry, if they have any, you know, regrets for what they have done. The way the relationship has ended, maybe they didn't do anything. Um, so I have the death card, I have the six of swords, I have the six of pentacles, I have the strength, I have the lovers, and I have over here the um, the hermit. So I'm just going to remove this a second. Now, but the way I see it here is... Um, but they do feel sorry okay they do they do they have regrets and they do feel sorry for the way that things happened for the way that things ended um they feel as though it is their fault they feel like maybe they weren't quite you know as nice as they could have been maybe they didn't give you all the information that you really you know needed um on that being said i do feel you know they do feel sorry but they did you know they have closed this relationship for good on their end you know the the candle has been blown that is extinguished so something new is going to be arriving into their life into your life also of course um but this is really about a journey so it's a journey that is being taken and they're 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 leaving to find you know it just it wasn't working out the goals um too many conflicts going on um it did take them quite some time you know i have the lovers here it did take them quite some time to come up to this decision to come up with the um the decision to leave and that this relationship was just not going to work out um but they received advice i feel like they received advice that was from around them and they took this advice and this advice is one of the reasons why they did end this relationship um maybe it would have been a a good friend of theirs or but um this is really advice that they were seeking because of the problems and because of the conflicts that were inside of the relationship and they didn't really know what to do with it and this person told them well, maybe, you know, you should just, you know, start anew elsewhere. And so this is what they have done. Um, they decided that they were going to go elsewhere. They were going to start again. But right now, um, you know, they're feeling quite, quite lonely. They're feeling, you know, um, they're, they're not feeling like they made a mistake. They're, they're happy for what they did. They think that they did do the right decision, but they're feeling not quite in their element right now. Um, they're feeling like they have some regrets, like there's a lot of things they would have done differently into the relationship. And if they would have done these things differently, maybe the relationship would have ended up differently also. So these are all questions. These are all thoughts that are going through their mind right now. Uh, but then again, it all came down to choices and it came down to their choice. And this is what they chose. Um, so that being said, right now, uh, they're really just in a thinking mode. They're trying to assess everything. They're trying to assess their life. They're trying to figure um, everything out. Um, but that being said, if I'm looking at Alice over here, Alice is a definite. They are feeling sorry. They do have regrets. They're not quite happy about what happened into the situation. Um, if I move on over to my beautiful... Um, the nightmare before Christmas. Well, the nightmare before Christmas, we're going to begin with the five of uh, potions over here, which is in reverse. And um, this is really indicates personal mistakes. 
So this card is indicating their personal mistake, how they're feeling about it. As you can see, they're not very happy about the whole situation. Um, you know, they're kind of banging their head about it, wondering why they did it, why they did things this way. Um, it's really time for them to just recognize their missteps and it's time for them to forgive themselves. This is what they're trying to do right now. They're trying to forgive themselves for what they have done. Um, and it's really about doing, you know, the best with, you know, the knowledge that they had at that time. They're not quite the same person now. They have a different knowledge. They have a different um, experience um, than they had not long ago when they were with you. So this is really about uh, using when they were with you this is was the best thing for them to do if they would have had the knowledge that they have today they might have acted differently um so this is about instead of you know wallowing in regret this is about trying to do right to the wrongs and taking care at the same time of the mistakes that have been done so they don't happen again so it's really about being wiser because of all of this experience that has been going on um if we move over to the uh to the queen over here to the queen of potions well the queen of potions uh becomes quite volatile she's exasperated and just verily emotional so uh this is really about a sign that the relationship here they found was really quite out of balance um communication would have helped a lot if you would have had a clear communication but the communication wasn't quite clear so this card is really just trying to tell them that you know what they're trying to do their very best stay strong and you know you're going to work out you're going to work through this whole situation um the uh, five of presents over here the five of presents is um it's also in reverse and this is all about uh, presence need to be internalized it's about self-love okay this is about their self-love so I feel as though there was a lot of selfishness into this relationship and they were thinking about them 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 all the time which is why also we're talking about balance here the relationship was quite out of balance so this is really about um Right now, you know, they're, they they are, you know, a selfish type person. They do think about themselves all the time. Now they're with themselves all the time and they don't really like it all that much. So, you know, it's kind of a little contradiction there if we can see it that way. And um, we're going to finish off with the Three of Candles. And the Three of Candles is really about... Um, how could I say this? It's about something that went wrong at home. Okay, something that went awry at home. It's really a conflict. It was a conflict that you guys had together. Um, it's a sense of insecurity. It's trying to get to the root of problems. It's trying to rebuild things from the ground up. So this is really about trying to find our stability, trying to rebuild. So this is what is trying, um, what you know, your ex partner is trying to do right now, and what they wish for you to do also. So that being said, um, a lot of information I gave you on how they feel and every. Thing, but this is truly what is going on and what they feel about the situation and for you so the question at hand is yes they do feel they're sorry yes they do have regrets for all their selfishness um oracle card i have tangibility so this is make your dreams real now is your head in the clouds are you feeling floaty or ephemeral lofty states are just being appreciated when we are grounded um, this is about when we float in life so long that we feel directionless or even confused they show up okay and it's a practical action in this physical plane so this is all about making your dreams real um, the lessons that you need and the best actions to take lies in the connections that you recognize the unconditional love and joy uh, the shedding skin of a rebirth snake this is really about uh, the clouds of illusions that are parting so you can see a dream that is slowly going to be made that is going to arrive into your life so this is really about tangibility, uh, starting to see something, starting to see something positive, trying to see a goal, a dream, and slowly going to reach it. So that being said, this does conclude the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you um, got some clarity onto the relationship. If you'd like your own personal reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings and have yourself a fantastic day. Thank you for being there and many blessings to you.